If you're someone who suffers from painful bloating, here are three foods that I would not eat. Hi, my name's Reese. I'm a nutritionist and I work specifically with people who have acid reflux and who are bloating a lot. Now, this is temporary, okay? You want to temporarily remove these foods. The first one is gluten and all gluten-containing grains. Now, gluten is a family of proteins that can cause a lot of inflammation in certain people, even if you don't have celiac disease. You can have what's called non-celiac gluten sensitivity. So instead of like a celiac person who gets a humongous inflammatory response from gluten, you get less of an inflammatory response, but still an inflammatory response. That'd be the first one to go. The second one would be dairy products, especially stuff that's high in whey or casein. So you're looking at milks and yogurt, specifically not high fat dairy like sour cream and butter. Again, when you have digestive issues, dairy can be very, very difficult for you to break down, for you to uh, absorb. And so you're going to get an, an inflam inflammation uh, from that. The third one is not a protein at all. It's actually a vegetable and it's chickpeas. Now chickpeas can be really, really high in starch. And when you have dysbiosis or an imbalance between the positive and the opportunistic bacteria inside your colon, eating chickpeas can leave you horrendously bloated. All beans can do it, but chickpeas is probably the highest one in starch. So temporarily, I like to remove these foods from my client's diet while I try to fix their underlying problem, which is either a problem with the lining or a problem with the dysbiosis, the imbalance in the gut bacteria, or both. Once that's fixed, you can add those back in and live like a normal person. Hopefully that's useful. If you like these tips, please follow along for more.